Yo, let me focus. What's going on, YouTube? Um, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a, a while. Uh, it's been a little crazy, so um, I'll let you guys know. I ended up getting COVID, and uh, yeah, it kind of sucked, but thank God I'm okay. I'm healthy. I'm back, and I'm here to make more videos for you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, just put that post notifications on and also um, if you guys have any questions or if you guys want me to do a certain hairstyle let me know so that way I can do it Duh. but uh yeah so in this video I'm uh I cut the dude's hair off another one I cut it down to like wavelength I gave him a low ball taper with the hooks crispy lineup uh, used enhancements uh, I don't think I showed the enhancements in this yeah, my camera must have died. I'm not too sure, but just stay tuned, y'all. Good one. What's up, YouTube? I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. In my intro below, I explained why I didn't. So if you guys didn't watch my intro, go back and uh, watch it. So so what I'm doing, so I, this dude, yeah, as you guys can see, he does have a kind of a fro. So I'm cutting it down to a, uh, I think I'm doing a number three on top. I'm doing number three on top. Uh, make sure that I'm brushing his pattern the way it's supposed to be so I don't want to patch him or anything. So make sure you guys are doing it with the grain also. Always have a comb in your hand when you're doing it. And just make sure that it is all nice and smooth. So on this next part of the haircut, I'm gonna be taking a number two guard, and I'm gonna be just taking the bulk just around the ears. Uh, I'm doing that so that way when I do line up around the ears, there's not a lot of hair poking out. And also, um, it looks more cleaner when you do, when you take off bulk on the side, because you don't want this hair, like I said, poking out on the side. So you kind of want everything to be laid down nicely and accordingly, especially when you do a taper. So that way um, it looks more fresh and clean. So for that um, little dark spot right there, I'm to be taking my number three guard now, and I'm just gonna be blending that out. Uh, we did do a number two on the side or on top with the uh, with the grain. So that number three guard is just going to take out you know the darker spots. It's gonna lighten it up a lot. I am using my corners, and I'm also brushing down as soon as I'm swiping because when you're especially with coarse hair and this type of hair, um, the hair is gonna be poking out as soon as you the guard gets in the hair so you want to keep brushing and then do your your strokes with the um with the clipper and then you brush down again you always want to keep brushing down so that way the hair uh when you because it's getting laid down and when you're cutting it with the with the guard it's going to keep going back up so you want to lay it back down so we're going to be doing the ball line in the back for the back taper i have my uh my dying <laughs> and it's uh, cordless outliners yeah, as you guys can see it is dying because it is red but hey whatever it's gonna cut the hair still so um make sure that the bald line is straight so i am kind of doing a low wish uh 
uh, bald taper. So um, I'm not trying to make my bald line too high. I'm just kind of bringing it low. It's kind of funky right now. It'll come together, trust me. So uh, make sure that it is uh, nice and straight. There you guys go. So we're gonna set that first guideline with the cordless wall magic clips. My favorite clippers as of recently, okay? Um, yes, the uh, that, that first guideline is a little bit too big. Um, I mean, but we can work with it, guys, right? We can do it, of course we can. Because we're barbers, we can make anything happen. We're artists. So make sure that that uh, guideline is straight. Um, don't make it too hard up in there. I am flicking up as I get to the top. So here we go uh, So I did close that thing up at the bottom uh, I'm gonna eventually go halfway then open uh, You know don't you know not to go past that that dark spot because we made that with an open so Close it and then halfway and that's how you play with it So that way it can blend into that open lever you guys so make sure you use the corners brush down the hair a lot And you guys are set So the second guideline we are doing our number one guard and we're making it about a half an inch. Uh, somebody in my recent comments was saying, oh dude, that's not a half an inch, that's like two inches, man. Who cares, man? You guys, the, the cut's still coming out nicely, okay? Okay, just don't do the guideline two inches. But it wasn't two inches in my defense, it was not. So uh, that guy can go, well. <laughs> but. Uh, make the guideline about half an inch. It's not really making it too... I mean, it's not really making like a hard line right there because um, for some reason, his hair is darker in the back, so it's not really like that much of a hard line-ish. But make sure that the guideline is straight again. Brush down as accordingly, and yeah. So we got our zero guard here and we're doing the lever all the way open just to see what the lever or the guard is going to do so it is enlightening it up some so we're going to continue to have the lever open and then close that thing up just to lighten up even more and that's when the blending comes in and everything you know so um so you go open halfway close you play with the lever just don't go past that dark spot up on top you guys know this already if you guys been cutting hair for a while if you got don't go past that top because uh, you will make the, the fade or the taper go higher and higher and we don't want that. So don't go above that part, that dark spot and uh, you guys should be pretty good if you guys don't go above that dark spot. basically gonna be doing the same steps as the back taper so I just want to explain that I am doing a low taper right here uh, because uh, we are doing a low taper uh, I'm making the ball line I'm gonna arch it a little bit kind of like a um, like kind of curve it just so I can um, I can give it kind of that burst look because uh, I am doing a low taper so I'm, I'm gonna do a line up on the sides the little hook so um, it make it easier that way and also um, it is the foundation you know the ball line so make sure that it is nice and straight
So we're using our magic clips right here. We're using the corners to make in that guy line because in a taper, you wanna be very precise and using the corners makes the haircut more precise. Uh, so we are arching the, um, the guy line. We're just basically following the guy line from what we did with the bald line because so that way it can all have that burst look. So we arch it a little bit and then uh, we're using the corners because we do not want to make, um, well, we kind of want to, you know, use the corners so it makes it more archy. So uh, we're gonna eventually end up closing it right there. Yes, we're closing it and then halfway and open. Just don't go past that dark spot and you guys should be good. So we have our number one guard here, and now we're gonna do another guy line about the same, half an inch. Uh, it's not really gonna really make a, uh, a hard line, so use the corners, you guys. Um, same steps as before. So I'm gonna be blending in that bottom part right there at what I just pointed with with my finger. <laughs> we have a zero guard, we have it all the way open. So um, we're gonna be using the corners. We're blending into basically everything what we just, uh, we did. And it's gonna all come together, especially after the zero guard because that is the finishing touch. And uh, like you guys are seeing, I am using the, the corners. It's also, it's also good to move the ear around so that way you don't Cut the ear, done it before, it sucks. So this is one of like, kind of like one of the most important parts of this haircut because you kind of want this part to be perfect. And when I mean perfect, I mean crisp. So you want to make sure that the arch fits the taper and you also want to make sure that it is crispy and whatnot. So I am using my, uh, my T outliners to make that uh, crispy line. So um, just uh, if you guys don't know how to make an arch, all you gotta do is just really put your uh, index or whatever finger and just kind of curve it, boom, one motion. Curve it, one motion. So I'm doing the hairline here. Um, his hairline was a little tricky, I'm not gonna lie, because it's kind of uh, patchy and it doesn't really wanna lay down. So his hairline was probably the hardest that I've probably had to do um, because of just the way that it laid down. It, it was really hard, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it did come out super crispy and everything. I did put enhancements in it just to make that fin uh, finishing touch. But uh, his hairline was a little hard, so just letting you guys know that you guys are gonna encounter some hard hairlines, but that's okay. As barbers, we can uh, adjust and uh, be very versatile and whatnot. So that's that's the beauty of the industry because we can basically adjust to whatever comes at us. So uh, I am starting from the middle and then working my way from the left to right, so that way everything meets in the middle. And um, make sure that um, you guys do take your time, especially on hairlines, because that's like really the most important part. And also a lot of people look at hairlines. That's like the main thing that they look at when they look in the mirror. So make sure that it's crispy um, and make sure that they like it.
So um, we're gonna be doing kind of like a freehand just so I can get all the hairs that are poking out. But basically, um, this video is about wrapped up. I thank you guys for watching my YouTube videos. Um, sorry that there was like a little delay, but it happens. Uh, so, hey, just uh, keep watching my videos, you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and look how crispy that came out. It was fire, guys. Fire, fire, fire. Um, put the post notifications on. I'm Arlen out i'm um, showing him in the mirror because hope he liked the haircut i'm sure he did i'm out guys